uh, this is the Traveling Trance. It is Memorial Day weekend, uh, May 28th, 2021. I'm Christy and I'm Dave. Dave's the one doing the driving because he's good at that. I'm good at a lot of things, but I'm not that great at driving. So there is that. We are headed out to Scioto Lake State Park campground and that's uh, close to Chillicothe, Ohio. It's about uh, an hour and a half away from our house in uh, uh, southern Ohio. So it's um, only going to, not going to take too long, but it is raining, of course. And uh, so we are hoping to get there and not have to set up in the rain. But uh, we've never been to Scioto Lake State Park. It's on Caldwell Lake, a little tiny lake um, that only allows uh, boats with trolling motors, right? I think maybe paddle, maybe paddle boats only. I'm not sure on that. Okay. Well, we are venturing into a new thing. Over the pandemic, we bought kayaks. It took us forever to find any. And... Um, so this is going to be a good kayaking lake, and hopefully we'll have a lot of fun with it. David has modified his kayak a little bit, so we're going to see how that works. Because of his bad knees, um, hopefully this will work out well for him. Um, the uh, state park campground is very small. It's only electric. There's only uh, 40 sites, I think, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. And then there's also a primitive uh, site that has another lake. What What's the lake still called? Stewart. 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 Stewart Lake. And um, that one, uh, you have to uh, hike into it, I think, to get to that one. And so it's primitive. There is a, I saw that there is some water there and that kind of thing. We may try to walk over there to see what it looks like. I don't know. Um, but we're going to be camping over Memorial Day weekend, and we'll uh, see how that goes. Hopefully the weather's going to get a little bit better. It's supposed to rain the next day, but then get nicer. So, got anything else to add? Uh, I worked for the Cougar Company for 45 years. I'm retired now, and all those 45 years I worked for the Cougar Company, I was never allowed to take holidays off as a vacation. Memorial Day, Fourth of July, Thanksgiving. No, no, no. You don't get those times off. Now that I'm retired, I took every <laughs> holiday this year off. Well, uh, you I didn't was, have to take it off. You were well, off. I'm already, I'm already off. <laughs> but uh, but I'm, I've never been able to do this. So we're going to camp over Memorial Day, over Fourth uh, of July this year. Um, so Brown Arms Day. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. And we camped over Easter. That's what we did. Yeah, we camped over Easter already. All right. So um, we are headed on up there, and hopefully it's going to be some better weather. And we'll talk to you guys uh, later. Anything else? Nope. Okay. See ya. What do you love about setting up in the rain? Ask me that when I'm not on camera. And I, <laughs> and I give my real opinion. Oh, it has been raining and raining and raining. I feel like life's peeing on me. <laughs> um, get a big water hole there. All right, we are set up. <laughs> First evening, it uh, rained and rained and rained on us, but we got set up. Uh, camper, camp ground is starting to fill up. Um, so it looks like a going to be a busy weekend. They have movies running tonight, a kids' movies. So we may walk up there and look at it. Yeah, we might. Lots of people coming in. Um, we heard that it's going to rain some more, so I don't know. I had rather fight a grizzly bear with a switch <laughs> and to set up in the rain. I was so wet. You know, yeah. wife says, you want an umbrella? I, it's like, why? Yeah, why? <laughs> I mean, once you're wet, you can't get no wetter than wet. Campground early in the morning. Can't 
ground is just waking up. Birds are singing. Max is smelling all the smells. Nice, quiet campground. Figure this afternoon we'll start being kind of busy out here. What do you think? It's warmer and nicer the weather. It's busy and really good. It was the first day we were here on Friday. The campground was three four full. And there's no activity. Only me sitting the camper up in the rain. That's all the activity there. <laughs> Here's their kayaks and little paddle boats they have for rent. Sure, they have more somewhere. We could. could do that. We got time. Is Beaver Dam. That is sitting out here at the edge of the lake, which is kind of interesting because then the man made dam is right over there. So this Beaver Dam is huge. We asked the people at the camp store if the beavers were active and they said oh yeah and they said they've been trying to uh, discourage them because they're taking down a lot of the trees it's pretty darn interesting Beginning of the Sciota Lakes. There's a little shelter house here. Kind of neat. smokes. To the 
really high up here, but it's worth the climb. about this park this campground we uh, this is our first time here um, and I think we both really really like it it's very small 40 maybe just 40 campsites they're very close together um, there's no no uh, sewer no water hookups but there's plenty of potable water areas around the bathrooms there's no bathhouses so if you do come here, be prepared that there are no shower houses here. Uh, and the toilets are non-flushable. There's um, a place where you can uh, dump your gray water. There's lots of places. We have one right right at the end of our site, which is great. You know, you dump your gray water only, no waste. But then you got one, one dump station, which is about, you know, maybe an eighth of a mile away from here as you leave. So that's not a problem. As long as there's no line, you've got one. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, just make sure you're prepared for that. Again, there's only 40 spots here, so it's not going to be super crowded if, if and when uh, you leave. I would maybe be careful about getting a campsite next to one of the outdoor toilets. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're pit toilets, so... And they're stinky. They are kind of stinky. Oops, you got a fly? Max is racing for a fly. As for being close, I've been pulling trailers and campers and boats since I've been 16 years old. And I, I'm not an expert. I'm not a novice. Well, he's pretty much an expert. But my camper is 32 foot from hitch to bumper. And it took some maneuver. I mean, you can't just pull in and get a spot real fast. you got to maneuver around. I mean... We got here Friday and it was pouring a rain. And this place is about three fourths of the way full. We got here about two o'clock on Friday. And you gotta you gotta be careful. There's lots of trees parked real close to the road. So a lot this guy behind me here, they were expert campers. It took him like five times to get his camper in that in that little spot there because it's tight. But that's the only bad thing about it is. Love, I love this area where we got hills there, hills there, hills there, and hills behind us. You get no cell phone. Yeah. You get no internet. So spotty. That, that spotty. Is, that is one of the down points. And I, no shower houses. Yeah, I have been uh, not enjoying the fact that I can't get on the internet. Um, and then phone calls. If you do walk out to where the lake is, you can get cell service or up onto some of the road areas. You'll see people standing along the road uh, making phone calls and, and that kind of thing. So just <clears throat> know that there is Wi-Fi, camp, wi camp Wi-Fi here, and that's free. Uh, I didn't know that until yesterday, but it is when you have a whole bunch of people here, then the it's very, um, there's, the bandwidth isn't real slow big enough, down. so it's very slow. So just be prepared. That's my that's my down points of this. Another down point, I guess, is it's at least 15, 20 minutes away from uh, a town. We're so, 15 minutes from Chilla Coffee. Chilla yeah. Coffee, and there's there is nothing out here. We went to a Sonic drive-through in a Circleville. It took us a half hour to get there. Uh, 
and in Circleville and Chillicothe, there's there's plenty of stuff right. there. Yeah, so. big cities. Yeah. Um, but it is. Uh, we got here. It was three fourths of the way full, and right now, me here just walked the whole thing. He can walk it. And he, he, it's, it's it's small. It's very small. Forty, but there's six campers. When we got here. There was thirty eight campers, and two come in to fill it up. Right now, I sit here. I sit here. You know, you know the way I feel about watching people pull campers. I was in seventh heaven this morning. They shoo, shoo, yeah. shoo. It's gone. There's nobody here. Like I said before in all my videos, I can sit here naked. No one would see me. <laughs> Not that I would want to, but but uh, it's just uh, it's. I like it. I, I really, really like it. It is so quiet. A lot of kids are playing down by the, the lake's right over there. Yeah, the lake is very, very I, close. Can, it's very I can accessible to anybody. Spit to the lake. You know. It's a small lake. I think it said it was nine acres. That's about right. Seven, it's eight, nine acres. Nine acres. And um, so there's, a, we didn't see much uh, canoeing or kayaking activity because of the bad weather. Yeah, we got here. It was raining. Saturday got a high of uh, 59. Yeah, yeah, she was a high of 60. Three. Mm -hmm. it's been today, today is 74. You know, so. Today is very nice. Um, the camp store, there's a camp store here, and they, they sell uh, nice little things that you may have forgotten. Buns, mustard, paper plates, those kind of things, but it's not a huge amount. They don't do. look, I don't look. They do uh, sell ice and firewood. Do not come here to expect to buy camping equipment for your camper. Yeah. No, it's, it's a it's very small grocery store, small. Only you, you won't find no Very small. water hoses for your camper. And there are or a couple waist hoses, sweatshirts no. and things because we tried to buy him a sweatshirt, but they didn't have the size. They were death. all too small. Um, you can buy uh, campfire wood. It's really bad wood. Yeah, it, <laughs> it was cut like five minutes ago. Yeah. It needs a season for about two months. This is the campfire wood. I hate this kind of wood. I took a hatchet. This is the worst. Kind I of took wood. a hatchet and I split down through here. And water came out. Came out when I split it. It was. It. So we we went out. Uh, we went out and there's a a place uh, that somebody was selling firewood for five dollars for ten pieces, and we bought that. So uh, just be prepared. Bring your own wood or buy some wood when you come. The wildlife we've seen bluebirds galore. Bluebirds. They're yeah. so pretty. Uh, they have several feeding stations set up here. I did not know. Yeah, there's those. there's one over here and one over here. So there's several bird feeding stations, and so you'll see birds, a lot of birds. It's very well kept campground. Uh, pretty flowers and different things out. Lots of creeks. The kids. That's one thing with the kids. Uh, a lot of the kids they've been here before, I guess, and they have. Um, Boots they bring with them. Like <laughs> Every kid boots. also had boots on. That, so all these kids have boots and they're running up and down these creeks, getting crawdads and catching little minnows and things like that. Had nets, so they the kids had a big time. There's a couple really really nice um, playgrounds, and the kids were in those playgrounds constantly uh, playing. Uh, but the lake is, uh, she said, seven, eight, nine acres. That's about right. It's trolling motor. Only. And we didn't see anything out here. No. Trolling motor. It's, here, very, it's very small. It was nine degrees when we got here. It seemed like. But there has been very little floating activity out here because of the weather. I'm sure if you come here in July or June, uh, that lake's full of boats. Yeah. But it's a small lake. You can see the dam. It's a really peaceful uh, area. There's a big gigantic beaver dam down by the I human dam. Love I love beavers, and they, they have this big dam built right it's next huge. to the huge. And you can see in the woods where they have gnawed down trees and carried them over there. We asked the camp host if the beaver dam was active, and they're like, yeah. They said, we hate the beavers. They're trying to, they're trying to discourage, <laughs> discourage the beaver. Them. How do you discourage a beaver? Have a talk with you it or what? You bad beaver. I mean, yeah. but, but anyway, they're trying to discourage the beavers. Um, um, and they also, then they rent out some paddle boats, some uh, kayaks, and canoes. Yeah, right outside. There's no television uh, signal. There, there's one radio station I got. I only got it one day. Yeah. So. So, yeah. And it is. It's, bring books. It's, bring entertainment. There's 40 campsites, and they are, usually at a state park, you're, they're wider apart. Dude, you're packed this is a very in narrow, here. it's very narrow. It sits, you down are, in, it sits down in a valley. Yeah, you're packed so. in here. You're packed in here. And. 
right now I can see the, I can see the end of the campground right now because there's nobody here. But yesterday, no, you can't. See. He's just just packed in here, and that's a bad thing. And no internet, no TV, no radio. You're packed in here. But other than that, it's 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 it's, 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 it's really pretty. And there's no gorgeous. cicadas. Oh, there's no cicadas. There is, we're oh. in the middle of a, a national Amazon forest. It seems like. And there's no cicadas. No cicadas. No. At, at home, where we're at in Ohio, the 17 years cicadas have been out in full force, so we were worried about here. Um, there are lots of hiking trails. Yes. We, you can easily walk all the way around the lake. It's, I don't know. Do you have anything else? Uh, on a scale of, scale of one to five, I'm not much one to use my internet and stuff like that. I'm not a big texting calling internet person but I've missed it mm -hmm. and I know it's killing her because she's, <laughs> she's that's her life I give it a three three and a half out of five quiet right now it is so quiet everybody's gone oh well there's also a um, a really nice uh, movie or real yeah, 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 yeah. theater kind of thing so they show um, they were Disney showing, movies they were showing Lady in a Tramp last night to all the kids and, yeah yeah, so that's kind of cool. That's really nice. That's kind of cool. That's fun. Uh, but if you want to get away from everything, if you want to just leave your phones at home, don't even bring them. <laughs> don't even bring them. Or bring some kind of, I don't know. CD or, or bring DVD something that helps whatever. you uh, get on the internet better. I don't know. I'll be back. But I'll give it a three and a half. We'll definitely scale. come back. It's, One to five. It's, it's quite, uh, quite Not beautiful. the greatest, but it's small and it's, it's so, uh, it's beautiful. There's... There's no major roads around here. You, you're, it's very quiet. I can probably see a grizzly bear in my backyard one morning. <laughs> that's it. I'm done. So, um, we really liked it. Uh, we'll be back, and I highly recommend it for people to uh, come out and enjoy another Ohio State Park. And so, this is uh, the Traveling Trent saying so long until next time.